NOAA's search, probing satellite imagery for lost ark. Moviegoers were recently treated to NOAA, an epic story of bravery and sacrifice from the Old Testament, a saga in which the titular character takes on the divine mission to build an ark to save creation from an apocalyptic deluge. Outside the big screen, speculation has swirled for decades that the leftovers of Noah's Ark hugged the heights of Mount Ararat in eastern Turkey at a spot known as the Ararat Anomaly. In true detective jargon, call it an anomaly of interest. Satellite imagery and analysis may make it possible to resolve the mystery. Portia Taylor, a professor of paralegal studies in the School of Professional and Continuing Studies at the University of Richmond, has led the search into the Mount Ararat Anomaly. Taylor's quest began long ago, he said. The cognitive genesis of my journey began in 1973, some 41 years ago, in my junior year as a cadet at West Point, he told Space.com. Back then, Taylor came across, credible rumors, ricocheting off the walls of the academy that a CIA spy satellite had accidentally imaged, what appeared to be the bow of a ship sticking up out of the ice cap on Mount Ararat, Taylor said. A couple of decades later, Taylor launched his own satellite declassification initiative investigating the Mount Ararat anomaly imagery. Drawing on his 21 years of armchair sleuthing, Taylor has given unclassified presentations at the Pentagon and the U.S. Naval Surface Warfare Center. Along the way, he declared victory in convincing the Defense Intelligence Agency in 1995 to declassify five 1949 U.S. Air Force aerial photos of Mount Ararat. Additionally, thanks to Taylor's invitations, a number of experts over the years have performed analyses of the satellite imagery, which thankfully tempered my zeal as an amateur, Taylor said. So in this day and age, why continue the journey? The wealth of information provided by Digital Globe's satellite imagery keeps Taylor going, he said. My ultimate goal has always been that my acquisition over the years of progressively higher and higher resolution satellite imagery from Digital Globe of the Anomaly might definitively change the anomaly into a known entity, either something geological or perhaps something of biblical proportions, Taylor said. Digital Globe's new and powerful Worldview 3 spacecraft is slated for launch from California's Vandenberg Air Force Base in summer 2014. Among its customer provided attributes, the satellite will yield 31 cm, 12 inches, panchromatic resolution, making it the highest resolution commercial satellite in the world. Digital Globe's constellation of satellites would be the envy of Indiana Jones, Taylor told Space.com. I'm grateful and humbled that Digital Globe has flown numerous gratis missions for me over Mount Ararat over the past decade especially the Quick Bird satellite mission of February 2003 that captured the boat-like form of the anomaly at 15,000 feet, without excessive amounts of snow and ice cover. Why do we get some reports that people have claimed to have seen the Ark on Mount Ararat, yet dozens of well-financed expeditions have gone up there looking for it and have come back empty-handed? Either it's up there or it's not. Are the reported sightings of the Ark on Mount Ararat in Turkey the delusions of religious fanatics? Are they perhaps just innocently mistaken eyewitness reports? If so, how can we account for the ancient wood and artifacts found high on this treeless mountain? For many years, we thought the ultimate answers to these questions were lost to the ages. But now, modern scientific technology and new archaeological explorations beginning to unravel many of the long-forgotten secrets of the Noah story. But our primary quest is to find genuine, convincing evidence of the Ark's existence, and ultimately, to find the Ark itself. To do that, we'll trace the footsteps of the Ark hunters who have gone before us. We'll follow clues gathered from their early expeditions as we mount our own search to find the legendary Noah's Ark. Existence of the Ark has long been a topic of great controversy. It's normal and understandable for us to be skeptical of ancient accounts. That's why the first modern discovery of evidence of the Ark's existence created such excitement and brought on a rush of contemporary investigations. In the mid-1950s, Mount Ararat finally gave up its first 20th century physical clue to the Ark's existence and whereabouts. It was to be the beginning of a series of modern-day successes in cracking the secrets of the Ark. 
A French demolition engineer named Fernand Navarra first became interested in the Ark while serving in the military as a young man. Navarra began the first of a series of expeditions to Mount Ararat in 1952. 